Hi everybody, I'm Steve and I'm here at uh, Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills and I'm at the grave of, I think it's safe to say, she's probably one of the most popular voiceover actresses in movies and TV. If you're a fan of South Park, you'll know who I'm talking about. Thanks for joining me on another trip down memory lane. I left home this morning before the sun came up, hoping to avoid a lot of traffic on my drive to Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills. Well, my plan worked out pretty well until now. It looks like maybe an animal was uh, run over. I see lots of blood. Maybe a coyote or a deer or something. It looks like he's got a shovel to clean up uh, the mess. Yeah. So this is uh, Eagle Rock or Glendale. So even when there's no traffic on a Sunday, you still end up in traffic jams like this. Okay, I guess we can go now. Oh, I don't know why it is. I guess it's just Murphy's Law. Almost every time I come to visit a gravesite, there's someone either having a funeral right next door, sometimes right on top, the, the grave is actually covered, or people are having a picnic, or they're visiting their loved ones right nearby. This is an enormous cemetery, one of the largest in Los Angeles. Not a lot of people here today, which is surprising. It's usually pretty crowded. In this section, there's not a single person, except right next to the grave, that I came to see. I don't want to disturb the guys that are visiting their loved ones there, but I did want to tell you a little bit about her. She was born June 5th, 1961 in Los Angeles and died November 11th, 1999 in Venice, uh, California. She suffered from an anxiety disorder and sadly took her own life at the age of 38. If you're a fan of South Park, then you're familiar with Mary Kay Bergman. She played the original voices of, of most of the female characters on South Park. In addition to being the voice for many of the female characters in South Park, she also did voice work for over 400 TV commercials, according to her uh, Wikipedia page, and over 100 cartoon, film, and game characters. Now this fence right here, on the other side, that's Mount Sinai Cemetery, Hollywood Hills. It's the uh, Jewish cemetery. It used to be part of the cemetery, but years ago they, uh, they decided to uh, separate it, I guess. The inscription on our gravestone is very small and very long and very difficult to read even if you stop the video. So I'll read it for you. In larger type, it starts out, One soul of a thousand voices, now an angel's chorus of bright red wings, bringing laughter and joy to the heavens above. In smaller type, it continues, I have heard your voice everywhere, from theaters to television, radio and more. From Beauty and the Beast to South Park, I watched you exceed your childhood dreams. We celebrated when you became the voice of Snow White in 89. You made me laugh with Mr. Blight, Batgirl, Daphne, and every gal on South Park. I have marveled at how many you inspired as a teacher. You made me proud when you sang Blame Canada and it was nominated for an Oscar. I saw how you were cherished for your beauty and sensitivity, your thoughtfulness as a friend, your loyalty as a daughter, and your care as a sister-in-law. But above all, I have loved you for the 12 years that you were my best friend, the last 10 my beloved wife, and now and for eternity my angel. She's laid to rest here in a really beautiful spot overlooking Burbank, the valley, you can see uh, Disney Studios. She actually did a lot of work for Disney Studios. I think Snow White was one of her very first uh, voiceover roles. So it's kind of appropriate that she's buried here overlooking Disney Studios. I don't know if you can see that back there, but that's uh, Disney Studios. Also ABC and Warner Brothers. Beautiful views of the hills in the distance. It's a really great location. So that's Mickey's wizard hat there. 
I don't know if you can see, it says animation, but the, the trees are in front of the in front of the words. You might be able to see the water tower that has uh, Walt Disney on it. So that's Disney Studio. Next to it in the green, that's uh, ABC Studios. So you can see all of the studios here in Burbank right from the cemetery. So how about you? If you had a choice, would you choose to be buried across the street from where you used to work? And I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to C.C. Berg for sending me this photo of Phyllis Gates' final resting place. If you're a Rock Hudson fan, then you probably recognize the name, since she was married to Rock Hudson in 1955, and their marriage lasted for three years. She even wrote a book called My Husband, Rock Hudson. Gates died at the age of 80 on January 4, 2006, in Marina del Rey, California, and is buried at Sunset Memorial Cemetery in Minnesota. I also want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Lisa Russell for sending me these family road trip photos to share. This is a picture of her brother Bruce in either 1958 or 59 at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. And this is a photo of her daughter Heather in 2011 at Disneyland posing with two of her favorite characters, Jack and Sally, from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I also asked viewers to send me photos posing in front of their cars sometime in the past. So Lisa sent me this one of her father Arthur standing in front of his Nash sometime around 1947. And my favorite of all of these photos is this picture of Lisa standing in front of her very first car in Malibu, California in 1980. And her first car just happened to be this black 1979 Cadillac limousine. That's a pretty memorable first car and she went on to operate a limousine service. She sold the car years ago, but now is hoping to purchase it back. She's trying to track it down, but hasn't had much luck. So if anyone happens to recognize it or know someone with the 1979 black Cadillac limousine, please let Lisa know down in the comments section. I also wish I could give a shout out and a thank you to the subscriber or subscribers who suggested that I visit Mary Kay Bergman's gravesite. Unfortunately, for some reason, YouTube recently removed the ability for me to search my comments. So in the past, I could just search Mary Kay Bergman on my channel and any comments about her would pop up. Now the only way to find it would be for me to read every single comment that I've received and I receive thousands of comments every month. So if you happen to be the subscriber or one of the subscribers who suggested that I visit Mary Kay Bergman's final resting place, please let me know in the comments section and I'll thank you there. So thanks for watching and subscribing everyone. And until next time, thanks for sharing the memories.